I got it. Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Who do you see? Uh, I, I see, I saw Felix. I saw him. Where's he at? Over here. I don't see anybody. Oh, there he is. He, he was outside and stuff. No, you're not getting in my lap, Tuck. When have you, when have I let you in my lap before? Never. Get down. You're crazy. You're crazy this morning. You're fuzzy and you're crazy. We got something we got to do today. Gonna pick up Felix. We're headed for Phoenix. Yeah, there he is. There he is and stuff. He's got Foxy Lady. I think she's gonna go with us. Well, I hope she goes with us. I hope she stays at home. Martinis. Golly, some things we got to keep to ourselves. I hope she goes with us. Looks like she's going to get to go with us. <laughs> oh, good, good, man. You got Foxy and everything. I'm glad she's going to get to go. Morning, Felix. Morning. How are you, sir? Good, good, good. Get a little windy, isn't it? Yeah, a little chilly too. I see your flags up there. I'll go one. It was breezy this morning. What do you think? About 30, yeah. 35? It's, that's some gusts, yeah. Yeah. About 30, 35. I moved all my motorcycles behind the rig. They say the wind's going to come out of the northwest, yeah. north, yes. northeast. Yep. Northeast. Something like that. Northeast. Yeah. So, uh,. I took the monkey and the KLR and put it on the other side of Miss Gypsy. Looks like it's going to hit Miss Gypsy broadside. But uh, Felix and I, we're going to go to Phoenix. All right. And, uh, well, let's tell you what we're doing. How many how many trackers have you rode in that I had? All of them? No. You didn't ride in Miss Blue? No. I don't think That's the was blue. We had the white one that I bought in Texas. Yeah. That the motor blew up in. Yeah. Before before that one, I had a 10 two-door hardtop, and you never saw that one. No. So the two-door hardtop white one, the white one out of Texas that I blew the motor in at Dome Rock after doing all that work. Right. Miss Blue. You didn't see Miss Blue because no, I, I, bought, it out, I Blue. bought it out here while you was in Georgia. Then the Wolf Wolf Wagon. That one, yeah. Yeah, that's the 92 or 93 four-door. That's, that's a good tracker. Yeah, it is. But it's cosmetically, it's just not, you know, really, really, really nice. But, but it's, for that area in Mexico, you can't have nothing nice with those those hailstorms and stuff like that. So I think the wolf pack is just it's per, perfect, it's per, perfect, perfect for, right for that area. I, I agree. Yeah. I agree. <clears throat> and it's all lifted up, BFGs and all that stuff. Got the yeah. rooftop tent on it. The wolf, the wolf top tent, uh, and today, well, we're gonna go get another tracker if if it's nice. Uh, a subscriber of mine saw a video I, I was talking about missing Miss Blue. I've tried to buy back. I, I sold Miss Blue because I sold the BT Cruiser and I got the Promaster van, and um, I didn't see the need of pulling a car with the ProMaster van and I thought it'd be kind of hard on it too so I sold it you know I buy and sell a bunch of stuff but very f few times in my life have I ever regretted selling something like selling Miss Blue well the Bigfoot yeah the Bigfoot was bad the, the Bigfoot which I fixed I got another one right nicer mm -hmm. in Miss Blue T tell, tell them how bad I screwed up about Miss Blue Felix that was I've seen pictures of it, I never saw it, but yeah, man uh, has regretted it. Talking about, talk about trying to buy it. What's he doing? 
Is he licking on you? Yeah. They, man, look how much they love you. They're fighting for your seat. They're fighting for the licks. <laughs> must, must be the adobo I use. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I have tried repeatedly over and over and over and over and over and over trying, <laughs> trying to buy back Miss Blue. Oh, and, and she was perfect, <clears throat> cosmetically, mechanically, everything, but it didn't have air conditioning. Mm -hmm. So I thought I'd buy it back and find a way to put air conditioning in it. So when the guy was finally like, I'm not going to sell it no matter what, I had to get it out of my head. I talked about it on my Facebook that I'm looking, I'm looking for the nicest geo tracker left. Ugh. You get it in the mouth? Yeah. He's a loving sucker. I'm going to sneeze. It's like... <laughs> it's like playing with that sticky stuff you you throw on the wall, that little rubber thing you throw the on the wall. Little yeah, octopuses, octopus. like in high school, yeah. we throw them together. Yeah, that's how it's stung us. Man, you, you'd be lucky if I kissed you more. <laughs> <laughs> so, a subscriber said, uh, I've got a nice one. My 80-year-old neighbor had it. Behind it, it's, it's been garaged all of its life except when it's behind the RV, just like Miss Blue. And you know, you gotta think that 95, we're talking 25, 26 year old vehicles. Quartzite is full of them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the only thing, the only vehicle there's more of are Jeeps. There are more Jeeps than trackers, but after trackers, you know, I think the tracker is the most popular vehicle. It must be two dozen Samurais down here. Yeah, yeah, a lot of Samurais. But now I love a Samurai. Don't get me wrong, off-road, I'd rather have a Samurai. But the tracker does everything better but off-road, and it's almost as good. So anyway, long story short, a subscriber in Phoenix says, I got one, sent me 100 pictures of it. I said, if it is what you say it is, I'll buy it. So we're going to go down there, look at it, 99.9% .9 chance, buy it, bring her home. Come on, go with us. Here you go. Okay, me and Phoenix are going down I-10 toward Phoenix. We're getting 60 mile an hour gusts. Look at the dust coming across here. Look at look at how all the the bushes and stuff are laying down on the side of the road here. I'm glad I moved those motorcycles to the back. Wow. That one doesn't look right here. You can see it, can't you? I'm having to hold pretty tight on the steering wheel. Trails, exercise trails. Woo. Getting close, getting close. Yep, that's, that, him. that's him. Some nice houses right here now. Oh, I see her. You've arrived. Oh, there she yeah, sits, right over it. there. It's got a Phaeton <coughs> diesel pusher. Posted, 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 posted. Oh, look at the Sammy, everybody. Oh my gosh, why did you bring me down here? I'm gonna have an orgasm. There's the tracker. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Snap, snap, snap. I see why he's selling. <laughs> why, why? Oh, snap. Mm. We're looking at this. Oh, there it look, goes. But then look. when we saw this, <laughs> yeah. we forgot about it. Yeah, yeah. now the tracker's pretty, but I got to look at this thing a little bit more. Go right ahead. Can I open it, can oh, I open yeah, it up? Yeah, definitely. I, I like Samurais, but uh, they're just not fast enough on the interstate. No, they're not. But it does everything else great. I know. Oh, well, let's find this one. Let's find that one. That's my toy right there. That's my 98. Mm. Mm. That's my 98. That's great. Yeah. So, 
I like that light bar. Got a winch. Now, these Samurais will do everything the tracker does. How can I, how can I say it better? The Samurais are awesome off-road. Just not so great for on the highway. Oh, wow. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. Let's see this thing right here. Here she is. What you doing? Oh, you looking at all the drive line? He don't have his doors cut. I'm surprised he don't have where his doors don't come off. He must have air conditioning. No, he don't have air conditioning. He opted for um, power steering. Okay, yeah. Instead of air conditioning, yeah. I understand that. Mm -hmm. What size are these tires? 30, I think they're 30s. 30, 30. I think they're 30, 30 or 33. 32. 32s. 32. 32. Yeah. How about that? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, he's going to crack open the hood. We're going to take a look here. <laughs> I don't mind. Who is that? Who is that? Man, man, she knows my name and everything. <laughs> you can open the door if you want. My babies are put up. They won't my get. They, they won't come out. Up. Stay. Oh, my guys and girls. Oh. <laughs> oh, we have no problem. Don't worry. Hi. Here's the other one. Y'all need to potty? You guys gotta go potty? Come on. Oh, they're so cute. There you go. I know they gotta go. Oh, I'm sure they do. Don't go too far. You're all you're all fenced in here, aren't oh, you? Yes, yes, it's all fenced in. I can shut that if you want. They won't go. Okay. I got ours put up. So, so this you got the one three. So oh, this this is all temporary because I had to use it for hunting this last year. Okay. So and I bought all the new stuff to do. I just haven't done it yet. No, no time. So this is a this is actually a tracker engine then. Yeah. I had uh, I had a blue one with a black fiberglass top that had the one one six put in it. But wife after it was put in, I got the mechanic. He says I want to buy it from you. So I sold it to him. <laughs> I didn't get to enjoy it. He said he could get 40 miles per gallon out of it. I don't know about this one. It's mostly, I use it mostly off-road. This one's working, I mean, though. I, I trailer it when we go. I don't drive it. Got I'm the, past the driving thing. Got the LED lights. Yeah. Everything's LED even down here. Everything. Good morning, man. Ooh got the headers. The Wolf Wolf Wagon has headers on it. Yeah, this one, uh, this, the, the whole exhaust system is uh, Cal Mini, yep. which is out of California. Mm -hmm. The rack is Cal Mini, the sliders are Cal Mini, oh, the, really? the fenders are Cal Mini. They're starting to shrink from the sun. Like it's hot here. Yeah. The, that is the, pretty. The grill I put out of a, it's an injected grill. That's, that, since I've done the injected oh. engine, I went in and put the, if you see this grill, you know it's an injected Samurai. Heck yeah. Because they only yeah. put these in the injected ones. Well, let's take a look over here. This is why we're here. <laughs> we got a little bit of wind. I hope it don't mess us up. We were focused. We saw that. We focused. It's not too bad, though. Got new BFGs, new wheels. Got the tow bar. Looks pretty straight. She looks pretty good, y'all. Trying to find the nicest one I could find. At the back seat, 114,000 miles, cherry red. Yep, she looks good. Baby May May, you're the first one in here. You're the first one in here. That's nice. Uh oh, tripped on a rock. Man, man, I like it. I like it a lot. Looks pretty good. 
What you think, Felix? I don't know. I, I know, I know. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. This this is the owner. Yeah, this pretty. is Paul. That's pretty. How you do, sir? Nice to meet She's you. as nice as you said. This is his wife Darcy. <laughs> and uh so so tell me tell me a little bit about the history on this cherry thing. Uh, a friend of mine owned it for He's not the first owner of it, but he's owned it for a long time. He said it was garaged most of its it life? It was garaged most of its life. It said outside, he had a place in Sholo, so that's the only time it was outside is when he was up there. And when he was down here in Phoenix, it was in the garage. Okay. And you said uh, he, was, he was just 80-something years old, just got old? Yeah. Your neighbor? How old is he? 84 this year. 84 this year. All right. He's so. a dear friend, and uh, they kind of really wanted me to get it, and I, you know, I just... As much as I love the Samurais, I, I, I like these for their dependability. I like the fact that they're from the Samurai line. Right, you know, That's right. what came after the Samurai. But, but now, uh, you, you said 114,000 miles, but you think, you think a lot was towed? Uh, yeah, a lot of that was towed, I'm sure. So he had a big RV? He, uh, he had a uh, uh, dually with the overhead camper slide out. And pull he pulled that way. Yeah. Here you. He pulled, either pulled this or he pulled a trailer with his Harley in it. So, you know, it didn't it didn't always go with him. Okay. You know, but when he'd take it, he'd take it. But it had, a, it was all stock, and then I'd done the two-inch lift and the tires and wheels. Did you change out the shocks, or did you? Uh, the same just, shocks. Just put the struts in the front, and then uh, I just put extend, extenders on the rear shocks so the shocks were fine. Okay. Okay. And then you put the wheels and tires on. Wheels and tires. These are brand these new. are thirties. Not even five five hundred miles on yet. Uh, they're thirty inch. Yeah. Good deal. She, she's and pretty. They rub. I had to trim a little bit on the front fender, but that's it. Okay. okay. And then uh, the tow bar on the front, that's detachable. Okay. The tow bar and then the bracket, it it bolts to is detachable, but the tire when it turns would rub one of the uh, pins. So I cut the end of the pin off and welded a washer on it so the wheel can still turn. And if it hits, it hits a washer. It's not hitting that okay. pin. Because it kind of cuts the steering wheel short. She's pretty you old. Know, you know how tight they shirt. Oh, yeah, they, they turn. turn. Yeah. Only, only place I see got a little place right there, but I can get that out. A couple of dings, but I think you could probably just yeah. take that little screw out and reach in there. Because this, it's you thin. know, you could probably just with your hand pop it out. I almost did, and I just didn't get that. Far. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that does bother me. <laughs> uh, it's, you know, she's clean. She's not perfect, but she's real clean. Yeah, in the 96, they come up with this. The grill pops out a little bit more here than the, the year before. So I think that's uh, one or two years they did that, and that's it. And then they quit doing them. It's got air to that uh, Suzuki um, Vitara or something like that, Vitara. Right. So it does have air conditioning, AC's, air conditioning, AC's cold. Mm-hmm. Everything works. Except I'll, that I'll, one window I was telling you about. I'll put a new regulator in. <laughs> I'll take it. I don't even have to drive it. I'll take it. Oh, you need to drive yeah, it. Yeah, we'll drive it. We'll drive it. You, you, you fool it. Yeah, I am. Oh. <laughs> he, he knows me. He knows my OCD. Tell, tell oh, I'm not, no problem with you driving it. Pulling into the Home Depot for Felix. I'll sit here and I'll tell you about the new red tracker. Well, everything is fresh on my mind. He's going to go in and get some flooring for Miss Gypsy. Yep, I bought it. I did go and test drive it and everything, uh, make sure everything worked. And uh, yeah, never never buy anything before you test drive it. I was just having fun on camera, but uh, checked it out. Found a receipt in the dash where less than 2,000 miles ago, the owner before this guy this, the last person that owned it that I bought it from only put 500 miles on it. The previous owner, 80 something years old, he spent over $800 putting a new clutch in it. I got new front brakes. He said the backs was good. Got a new radiator, timing belt, water pump, hoses, belts. All looks good. So, uh, 
Yep. I plan on this being a keeper. This is what I wanted. And it's as nice as what I wanted. So look forward to making a lot more videos in the future with uh, this little red tracker in it. But uh, I enjoyed you hanging out with me today. Hope you had fun. But I'm going to end this little video where, right here, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. And you guys take care. And as always, I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my Savior. See you next time. Bye.